All right, everyone. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, it's not long since my last video I posted. I mean, in fact, this is like literally like three minutes after the uh, 49 Mercury. The, what we have here is a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Uh, I believe this is an old monogram kit. It's been around for a while. If you want to look at the box art or find this kit, it is a blue Z28 with white stripes. Uh, I decided to do it in white. Uh, the model club that I'm in, they had a, uh, on our monthly meetings, we had a uh, contest theme called White Out or All White or White Out or whatever. I forgot what it was called. But it was, the theme was white. That was it. So I decided to do a 69 Camaro, in, as you can tell, in white, with white interior. You can kind of see the blue from the, from the old one right there. But um, this was also in a, uh, I showed this in a previous uh, video of mine on, on a how-to, if you want to go back and look that up. Um, it was how to fill in panel lines with a mechanical pencil. Um, as you can see, like the trunk line, you know, the trunk lid, the doors, how to, you know, just basically panel lines. And this works with not just cars, you can do this with airplanes or whatever, and just use a mechanical pencil instead of uh, filler paints and all this other doodads and all those other stuff. Um, I find the mechanical pen or mechanical pencil much easier um, to use, and it's a lot cleaner and is a lot quicker. But this is what I have. This is uh, again once again a '69 Camaro. Um, those of you that don't know the difference between a '67, '68, and '69 Camaro, um, the taillights on the '67 and '68 were more of a, let's see, they were more squared off. These are the '69s were a little bit more elongated. Whereas of the uh, 67 and 68 taillights were a little bit, little bit more of a, they were still rectangular, but they were nar more narrow, uh, a little bit more squared off. Um, the 68, uh, 67, 68, the front grills, I believe, weren't as sunk in. They were more flush to the uh, front of the car and weren't and a little bit more prominently out sticking out. Uh, the difference between 67, the main thing with the 67 Camaro, um, they had vent windows. They had side vent windows coming up and down the side here. So if you ever see one of those at the side vent, 67 through 68, you know, this, this is about the first generation Camaro, I should say. If you see first gen Camaro with, first gen Camaro, I can talk. First gen Camaro with um, vent windows on the side, that would be a 67. That is the only year Camaro ever to have, to have vent windows. Um, just a little, throwing a little knowledge out there for y'all. Um, let me go ahead and show you the uh, engine. If I can get this, the hood off. And if I don't knock the car off the stand here, that is a uh, Ford, uh, then the Ford, what the hell am I talking about? Uh, GM 302, that's what the Z28s came with, was a, was a 302. Um, what you see here, that's what you get. You get the, you know, the cross ram intake. You get the two carburetors. And I believe you can still see some of the old blue from the, uh, the original kit on here. Uh, I guess I missed some spots when painting. Um, so if you do want to look for the box art and look for the actual kit, Another part where I miss where is, if you see that blue there, the kit was actually molded in. That's kind of rare. That shows how old this is because kits aren't molded in color anymore. That blue there is the um, color of the kit on the on the uh, in the box on the box art and in the kit. So that's what you have here. Um, I'll probably be, might be back in a little while with another kit. If not, uh, just stay tuned for more. Uh, thank you for watching and happy modeling and have a nice day.